What is the most commonly used indicator of measurement quality in ABA? We are here to say that I weight is the most commonly used indicator of measurement quality in ABA. It's time to learn about IOA. Today will be a great day. You must learn about IOA to be an awesome BCBA. IOA is the degree to which two or more independent observers report the same observed values after measuring the same events as they did today. Okay? Guys. I hope you heard me. IOA agreement increases believability that the data is trustworthy. Researchers and practitioners use measures of IOA to Determine the competence of new observers, okay? Detect observer drift today. Judge whether the definition of the target behavior is clear and the system not too difficult to use because it definitely mad us. And convince others of the relative believability of the data. Measuring IOA requires that two or more observers use the same observation code and measurement system. Observe and measure the same events and participants, last but not least observe and record the behavior independent. Independent of influence by others. If you are still following along, you definitely rock and I'm not just saying that. Learning IOA is not a piece of cake and that is a fact. We have nine types of IO aids to learn, but that will come in a bit. Pat yourself on the back. You got this. IOA assessments should occur during each condition and phase of a study and be distributed across days of the week. Times of day. Settings. And observers, okay? When we schedule assessments this way, it will provide a valid picture of all data obtained in a study, okay? For your information, it's important to learn about IOA for data obtained by timing duration. It is also key to know about IOA obtained by response latency. And definitely, IOA for data obtained by IRT. All three will be calculated the same way as event recording data, you see? Let's learn three techniques commonly used to calculate IOA for interval data today. Interval by interval IOA. Scored interval IOA. And unscored interval IOA. Gentle reminder that you've got this, okay? Can I tell you something that is very important? Guys, remember that acceptable IOA is minimum 80%. There are many techniques for calculating IOA. Each technique provides a somewhat different view of the extent and nature of agreement and disagreement between observers, okay? Please remember what I am about to say. Percentage of agreement between observers is the most common convention for reporting IOA in ABA. I would also like to inform that IOA scores can be reported in narrative, table, and graphic form. More stringent and conservative IOA methods should be used over methods that may overestimate agreement as a result of chance. By the way, it's almost time to do the IOA dance. Because it is subject to random or accidental agreement between observers, interval by interval IOA is likely to overestimate the degree of agreement between observers measuring behaviors that occur at very low or very high rates. Wait a second. What is interval by interval IOA? According to Cooper, when using an interval by interval IOA, the primary observer's record for each interval is matched to the secondary observer's record for the same interval. 
The formula for calculating interval by interval IOA is number of intervals agreed over number of intervals agreed plus number of intervals disagreed times 100 equal interval by interval IOA percentage. Wait, um, what? In other words, divide the number of intervals where we agreed and the total amount of intervals we see. Lastly, multiply by 100 definitely. Wow, wasn't that easy peasy? What is scored versus unscored interval IOA? Scored interval IOA is calculated using only those intervals in which either observer recorded the occurrence of the behavior. Okay? With scored interval IOA, only those intervals in which either or both observers recorded the occurrence of the target behavior are used in calculating scored interval IOA. With unscored interval IOA, only intervals in which either or both observers recorded the non-occurrence of the target behavior are considered when calculating unscored interval IOA. Um, okay. I am here to say that scored interval IOA involves determining the number of intervals where we said yes today. Divide the yes and yes number by the total number of intervals with at least one yes. Lastly multiplying by 100 is always best. How many intervals did we both say yes? 3. Divide by total number of intervals with, at least one yes, 6. Multiplying by 100 is always best. The IOA is 50. Please listen to me. According to Cooper, scored interval IOA is recommended for behaviors that occur at relatively low frequencies. What is unscored interval IOA? I hope you know that unscored interval IOA involves determining the number of intervals where we said no. Let's divide the no and no number by the total number of intervals with at least one no. Lastly multiply by 100. Let's go. How many intervals did we both say no? 6. Divide by total number of intervals with, at least one of us said no, 8. 75% is the IOA. Unscored interval IOA is recommended for behaviors that occur at relatively high frequencies, okay? What are the four IOAs? Let's learn them today. Exact and trial by trial seem similar as GT. The one that requires too much calculating is very mean. Last but not least. Total is totally easy. With exact count, we can divide the number of times we exactly agreed with the total amount of intervals we see. Lastly, we will multiply by 100 definitely. Take the number with the exact agreement between you and me, which is 2. Divide it by total number of intervals we see, which is 5. Multiply by 100 definitely. IOA equals 40%. Now it's time to move on to the one that is mean. In each interval divide the number from you and me. Then add the numbers below that are mean. Divide by number of intervals indeed. Lastly, multiply by 100 definitely. The formula for calculating mean duration per occurrence IOA is similar to the one used to determine mean count per interval IOA, okay? Mean duration per occurrence IOA is a more conservative and usually more meaningful assessment of IOA for total duration dad da. It should always be calculated for duration per occurrence dad da. Keep this in mind because it definitely mad does. Total is the simplest indicator of IOA for event recording data. It compares the total count recorded by each observer per measurement period. This one is easy peasy. The formula for calculating total count IOA is similar to the one used to determine total duration IOA. Okay? Add numbers going across easy. Divide the two total numbers between you and me. Lastly, multiply by 100 definitely. Add numbers going across easy. 
divide the two total numbers between you and me. Lastly, multiply by 100 definitely. Total count IOA is the simplest indicator of IOA for event recording data. Exact count per interval, on the other hand, is the most stringent for most data sets obtained by event recording. No IOA calculation method is universally superior or the best. Behavior analysts should choose IOA methods based on the measurement system and data set. You did an awesome job learning about IOA today. Use more stringent methods to avoid overestimation. Due to chance okay.